Hi everyone, welcome to Border Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and you're not. And this is SBNA Clan. SBNA Clan doing Tier 6 Clan Wars up against Lancer 2. Of course, Lancer, one of the older Australian clans. They've been around for a hell of a long time, longer than I have. And of course, they've got two clans now, Lancer 1 and Lancer 2. Lancer 2 doing Tier 6 Clan Wars up against SBNA on airfield. And this is going to be a pretty, pretty quick battle. It's going to be two games in this video both featuring SBNA clan, the Shenanigan Battalion, up against Lancer 2 and TFF, tanking for fun. Both games on airfield. Of course, with the, the way the map is, there's not much variation in the maps. They seem to be going alphabetically with the landing zones anyway. On all three tiers, tier 6, 8 and 10, on the Asian server. The OI absolutely derps the T-37 down in the southern part of airfield. And you can see that uh, SBNA, they've gone for a bit of a mix-up. Two K a KV-2 and an OI. OI is very popular in Tier 6 claymores and also skirmishes. And it looks like Lancer 2 have gone for a more light setup. Three Cromwells, a T-34-85 at 59-16 and a T-37 which has been taken out. Halley Gamer, who often sends me replays, claim wars and normal battles as well, is tracked himself getting off there. He's picked up 227 damage and a fair bit of spotting damage too, 680, probably when that OI derp killed the T-37. Now you can hear the siren going off. There's two of the Lancer lads on the cap. And look, I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be three soon. So the guys from SBNA are moving back for resets because in 38 seconds it's going to be all over, even though they're winning 2-1. to one. The MT-25 got taken out by the Rudy trying to reset cap and now, but that's... Did get a reset in or somebody did and there's another reset on the airfield cap. And that's given them enough time to get all these quicker tanks back. The auto aims at the Cromwell. The other Cromwell gets killed. Mark the Destroyer having an absolute rip-up. Betty Boy picks up the kill on the other Cromwell, and that stopped all the action on the cap. Halley Gamer from SBNA Clan. He's still on full health. He's picked up 400 damage and a little bit of spotting, and he fires clutch towards the 59-16 on the enemy side, but he doesn't stop moving because there are three tanks still alive, and there's two of them, the Rudy and the T-34-85. Going for the heavier Russian mediums rather than what a lot of clans like to do uh, and use, use Cromwells and T-37s. And it's just a DPM battle here between Heligamer and Mabril in his Rudy. He loses his ammo rack. Can't fix it because he's already used his repair kit, but he's still chipping away at that Rudy. 6-1 the score now. Only a 59-16 left. And it looks like Alley Gamer's pinging where he was last spotted, the 5916, which is the auto loading Chinese light tank. And this is looking like being a pretty comprehensive victory for SBNA on airfield. Of course, they play airfield just about every night, from what I, I gather. And they're talking about one tank capping because that 5916 is pretty quick. And by now, that 5916 could literally be anywhere on the map. So SB, SBNA doing the right thing, leaving the KV-2 back at the base just in case the 5916 heads back that way and everyone else, are they going to search for him or are they going to cap it? Heli Gamer would probably be best off being one of the ones that sits on the cap because he's only on 32 hit points, which is a one shot for the Chinese light tank. Does a bit of boosting there. You've been seeing a bit of boosting lately in Clan Wars and even in random battles. And Halley Gamer just want to make sure he confirms a win by sticking a track on the cap circle. Looks like the other Cromwell, Betty Boy, is going to do the same. And looks like they might be content to just cap this one out and not go searching. Halley Gamer, for sure, should be just sitting on the cap circle because he's, he's a one-shot. But it looks like the 5916 has been lit now by the Cromwell. And he's going to go searching for a little bit more damage. Why not? You might as well go for the kills if you can because it all gives you more fame points and more prizes on the Clan Wars map. But he still does have a damage ammo rack, so he's probably only going to get one or two shots in, but that'll probably be enough. Oh, shoots and misses. And, of course, with the damage ammo rack, it's going to make it a little bit harder. There you go, 7-2. And a quick battle buddy reset on the 
on his friendly teammate as we have a very quick look at the post-game battle results before moving to the second replay in this double shot of T6 Clan Wars video. Looking at SBNA's score, Marky, Mark the Destroyer. He has an absolute ripper with 1,119 hit points of damage. Heli Gamer does all right with 965, the OI 1261, starting off with that derp shot on the T37. The KV2, not lucky enough. He did move around. He wasn't botting or anything like that, but he didn't... Um, I think it was decided early, just in case they go for the cap, they're going to keep that KV2 back there to make sure they don't cap it out. And making money in a clan balls battle, which can be rare, especially at higher tiers, but tier 6, it's certainly on the cards. As we move on to the second replay, featuring SBNA clan on the Asian server in on airfield. Again, this one sent to me by Halley Gamer 564 and again he's in his Cromwell and he loves his Cromwell. I've got a Cromwell B and I reckon that is absolutely awesome. Not that I've played that many T6s lately. SBNA going for a, a little bit of a... something a little bit different. They've got uh, a KV2 and the OI for the two derps. Two Cromwells, an FV304, the little Burt tank, one of the very popular T6 artillery pieces. It's probably the only artillery piece that doesn't get uh, called a shit up, I guess, for people who don't like artilleries. This time they're up against TFF, tanking for fun, and Heli Game has been lit in that central place. It's the same place he went in the last game, trying to get some vision on the south. The MT25 looking for some vision on the south as well, and I guess the plan was for Marky Mark and Heli Gamer to try and get a couple of cheap shots in that southern side the oi look obviously looking at the minimap the oi taking a little bit of time to get to the battle of cromwell sitting back at c2 and the kv2 not stuffing around he doesn't want to be left behind this time he's getting stuck right into where the heavy tanks normally do their business in random battles on airfield the game just having a look at the kv2 just to see whereabouts he is and it's a little, it's a case of hurry up and wait now. SBN8 versus TFF, tanking for fun on airfield. I'll take this opportunity to have a quick mouthful of coffee. The OI driver apologising in the chat for his speed. Not sure if they use TeamSpeak or Discord or Skype or any of those voice applications for their clan wars. How the game gets lit as he peeks around. Um, the KV, that would tell me that the KV-2 is probably most certainly lit. None of the enemy tanks have been lit yet. So tanking for fun, really doing a good job out-visioning SBNA in this stage of the game. But it's, there's plenty of time as well. Samuel Benjamin in the OO makes the comment. They're possibly camping. They've definitely got some vision somewhere because Halley Gamer, every time he pokes, he gets lit, whether he pokes to his left or his right side of this big rock. But... The OI and the KV2 moving up into a position where if the taking for fun, boys and girls, are camping, then those two derp guns can start smashing that area where the heli game is pinging just a second ago at D9. 0-0, zero, zero, still the score. No enemy tanks lit yet. And they're starting to move these big guns up where they can get some effective fire. The FV-304 moving into a very aggressive position. Of course, the Tier 6 British Artillery doesn't have... The best range that's probably the only thing that it doesn't have going for it it could probably only shoot around about half of a map i guess and that's why the fe 304 has moved up but if they look if they're talking in in team speak or discord or whatever it is they use i'm sure Halley gamer would be saying be careful goldie because i'm getting lit here so you want to be in, you know, as an artillery piece, you don't want to be getting lit. Heli Gamer putting some blind shots into where he thinks he might be getting lit from. And who knows if those shots landed. 0-0 zero, zero, still the score. No enemy tanks lit yet. It's, they're, yeah, they're clearly camping, but they've got someone. They've got some kind of light tank out of front because they keep lighting up the SBNA shenanigans battalion tanks. Two Cromwells, FV-304, two light tanks and two derp tanks. Samuel Benjamin in the OI asking for permission to poke. And say no, don't do that. And the other Cromwell noting that the artillery is closer to the enemy team than he is. And that's right, that's exactly right. I'm not sure where the FV-304 is aiming. 
I'll have a look. You can see him just there. He's probably aiming at the same place that Halley Gamer has been blind firing into the bush. I'm just going to skip forward a little bit through this replay. And they finally light a Cromwell B back at the base. And the FE304 letting his team know that he's aiming towards that Cromwell B. And Halley Gamer still getting lit. And finally they light up some tanks. That, that's probably getting lit by the MT25. Ali Gamer putting some fire towards where that T-150 was last spotted. Two, one T-150 and two Cromwell B's been lit on the TFF side. And look, they're clearly doing a bit of a camp. They may own the land. The eastern side is where the landowners start if it's a battle for the land. Or maybe they're just trying to run the timer down. And, you know, you get 15 minutes and quite often you'll see a tier 6 game end in three or four minutes if it's, a, if it's an all-in brawl at, at one area. Gamer going for another peak and another possibly blind shot. Early game has moved forward now. Trying to get some more vision for his team. He lights up the T-34-85. He gets lit himself. That's four enemy tanks lit. Of course, it's a seven versus seven battle at tier six. And it looks like... Russian heavy tank, T-152 Cromwell Bs, a T-3485. What else? Still three enemy tanks unspotted. And this area here, you'd think they'd have some eyes there. That's probably where they were. They kept getting lit from. It's the same Cromwell B lit again. Twisted Tracks, pretty cool name. As long as these enemy tanks are lit, then... They, SPNA probably should be quite happy because that FE 304 could just keep pumping a few shots out and trying to chip away at the enemy hit points. There's still seven minutes left in this T6 battle. And the fact that SBNA have bought artillery, there you go. That was a very handy shot. Set him on fire. Looks like he doesn't have a fire extinguisher. And there's the first scalp for SBNA taking out the Cromwell B. A very handy tank to have in T6 clan wars, platoons and skirmishes. And now they're clearly discussing what to do. They're pinging. I think they know we have Artie. Very good observation from Goldie on airfield from FBNA clan. He's picked up the first kill. One zip is the score. Alley Game has picked up 750 assisted damage from that. More pinging going on. Now that, that death is probably... All that's going to do is encourage TFF to continue the camp. Alley Gamer gets a shot into the Cromwell B. He gets slit. In the process, though, pulls back. He's hoping he pokes around that corner. I'm not sure if he's going to on 272 hit points. Artillery having a nice look at that British T6 Premium Medium tank. Very handy tank to get out of the game. That sounded like he fired. I'm not sure if he hit. It was a bit of a blind shot. And Halley Gamer possibly calling this game, pinging the map a hell of a lot, letting his teammates know where he wants them. They are almost all in one position. Oh, he caught with his turret turning the wrong way. He could have got one or even two shots into the side of that Cromwell B. But the Cromwell B now on the enemy side, hiding behind that ridge. The MT-25 is only on 400 hit points. Plenty of guns up here, so Halley Gamer looks like he's going to try and change position and get a different angle on these enemy tanks. The KV-2 and the OI, of course, not known for their speed. They could... If somebody's going to sit there and shoot, maybe it could be them. So Halley Gamer and Benny Boy... Both Benny Boy in full health. Halley Gamer on 623. Going right up the D-line to try and outflank and find out who might... Any light tanks might be up here. That's where they often sit. Or even a tank destroyer. Who knows? Still only four enemy tanks spotted. One of them's been killed. And now they're getting some vision. On that T-50 again. Still only spotted four enemy tanks. Still three to go. Artillery gets a nice shot into the T-6 Russian heavy tank. It'll take a little bit to kill. Still on 665 health, so he's still on more hit points than Halley Gamer. Plus, he's got the added bonus of the armor. And it looks like the two light tanks have found the Cromwell B in that southern area, just out of render range, so we can't see what health the Cromwell B is on. And Benny Boy doing a good job keeping that T-150 lit. And it's an AC-4 experimental. The new 
Australian slash British premium T6 medium tank, which is a pretty cool tank. Kelly Gamer fires clutch and misses the T150. He needs to help his mate out here. They need to chip away at that Russian heavy tank. And so Halley Gamer using his rate of fire to try and put some damage into the T-150. Does cop a damaging shot. Of course, the heavy tank's going to have a more powerful gun than the Cromwell. Three zip to score, though. The AC-4 Experimental got taken out by Marky Mark the Destroyer at his T-37. And those light tanks have comprehensively won that southern battle. And they're pushing right into TFF's cap. Three and a half minutes to go on the time-up. Three zip to score. Still only spotted six enemy tanks. Who knows? Do I know? Do I, have they been? Have they come in short? Maybe they have. Three zip the score. A bit of map pinging going on. The OI and the KV2 moving forward. And that's where SBNA's hit points are. The OI still on full health. The KV2 on 714. Halley Gamer gets lit. And there's that T150. Only on a small amount of hit points. Benny Boy's only on 100 as well, so Halley Gamer needs to roll in here and get rid of the T-150. But the FV-304 does the job, the birdie, and with the score on 4-zip, you'd think they've got enough time to clean this game up. Still only six enemy tanks spotted. There's the seventh. It's another T-150. Two T-150s to go, as well as that T-3485. Halley Gamer rolls over the cap circle just to try and encourage... The TFF blokes to keep on poking. The KV-2 looks like he's sitting on the cap. And it'd be a very brave light tank or even heavy tank to come and try and reset a KV-2 on cap. So Halley Gamer's sitting on cap as well. He's only on 327 health. But that's the only way they're going to draw out these camping tanking for fun, lads. As that Cromwell gets killed. Halley Gamer picks up the kill on that T-3485, which is low health, which is exactly the right thing to do. And of course, that T-3485 would also be providing vision for the camping T-150, as well as, well as the attacking T-150. 5-1 the score, 20 seconds left on the cap. The KV-2 derps the T-150. Looks like he might have got been double derped there. 15 seconds left on the cap. Timer, Halley Gamer's decided he can afford to take a shot from the T-150 if he needs to. And with the help of his lights, they're going in to try and swarm the big T-6 Russian heavy tank. A bit of good focus fire going on from SBNA. They're shooting him up. They're lighting him in fire. And it was an absolute whitewash in the end. 7-1, even though it went for a little bit longer than it probably should have at T-6. But a comprehensive victory for SBNA, the Shenanigans Battalion, picking up. Two kills on airfield against Lancers, as well as TFF tanking for fun on airfield. Thanks for the replays, Helly Gamer. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care, and see you all next time. And don't forget to check out those. Look at that good spread of damage there. The FV-304 had a ripper on 1734. And, of course, Marky Mark having another awesome game. 1,400 damage and a little bit of assisted. It is T-37. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care, and see you all next time.